The latest out of Spain, the Spanish economy minister speaking earlier at a briefing in Madrid saying the Catalan government is creating anxiety for businesses and he supports anything that boosts Catalan prosperity. These comments coming after a week of political drama and a Spanish Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy convenes his cabinet today in Madrid. And now in the last few moments we have had the first concrete apology from the Spanish government for the clashes we saw over the weekend. The central government's representative in Catalonia has just spoke exclusively to Bloomberg. We are profoundly sorry because this was not our wish. We didn't want a single person getting hurt. But we need to remind ourselves that the regional government of Catalonia should have explained to them they were participating in an act deemed illegal by a court and there was an order from a judge asking police to remove the material. Joining us now from Barcelona is Bloomberg's Maria Tadeo. Maria, what is the latest? Well, it's taken almost, you know, five days, but we finally got that apology. Remember, the Spanish government got a lot of heat from the European Union from this violence that we saw back in the Sunday when the ballot took place. Now they're saying, look, we're sorry. The central government here is sorry that this happened and people got hurt. But again, reminding us that this situation is happening because this local administration and the regional administration has gone completely rogue. They're not paying any attention to the law and they could prevent a lot of these abnormal situations if they were to return back to this normal constitutional order. So again, the central government calling on the regional Catalan government, stop this now and get back to the legal order of matters. Maria, in terms of the business um, movement, memories of Quebec, and businesses starting to relocate already and think about where to place their headquarters. What is the latest for the Spanish banks that are actually based, headquartered in Catalonia? Now, the banks of the you know, it's been all the center stage here because they're based here, but a lot of their business is made in Spain. But most crucially, they want to make sure, and this is a message they want to send to the market, that no matter what happens, no matter the political noise, they will still be backed up by the European Central Bank and they will still be part of the Eurozone. So Bank of Sabadell already announced that they're moving away from Catalonia and now all eyes on Casha Bank. That stock, it's Spain's biggest bank, a number of branches. It's moving on news that it made today, later this afternoon, announced that they're also moving away from Catalonia. And then latest news, the business economy minister, Luis Aguindas, announcing that they're going to make it easier for companies to move away if they want to.